Why hello, ha, 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 you amazing beautiful people, welcome back to another Demon Slayer reaction video. So the last episode, smidgy of a cliffhanger, <laughs> just a smidgy of one. And now we are moving on to what I believe is going to be some crazy freaking fights. Um, everything's just kicked off, everything's got completely insane. You know, I've just realized as well, it's only just uh, sunk in right now. I don't know if we're going to see much of Inosuke and Zainsu. This entire season might be completely absent of them. If that's the case gonna be kind of sad because i love those guys but i do very much enjoy the arc that we're going for in this one so far i feel like it's quite intense quite good and i've got a lot of questions about these new upper moons that have made an appearance so let's find out uh that's about it from me <laughs> like the video subscribe for more if i'm a little bit tired this reaction i do apologize only uh like um it was only like just over a day ago when i did my uh, uh uncapped subathon so quite sleepy but yeah like the video and subscribe and let's jump into my first time reaction to demon slayer season three episode four It's funny, we're currently watching Na we're currently watching Naruto every Thursday on Twitch. Uh, come and join me if you want, link in the description. And um, the one thing that's so annoying about that freaking anime is they have like flashbacks that sometimes last six minutes at the beginning. I'm glad the Demon Slayer doesn't do that because it breaks my heart every time when it does it in Naruto. Because I want more Naruto and it like, why does it make it so short? <laughs> I love that he's like someone who's so badass almost has like like no parenting also a lot of you have told me about this Hashira I, I do know who this Hashira is uh, the one who learned all of this in two months and how much of a prodigy they are and etc right um, but yeah I love how Tandro is like almost like given like a father's message here you know I, I like that like it, it implies that maybe even though this Hashira is like badass doesn't really have any of those skills, which we've sort of seen as well. Those like social skills and, and awareness or empathy. I really like this Hashra, to be honest. I can't tell if that's the vase. I don't think it is. It might be. It does. It does look like a vase. I can't really tell, and I don't. I don't remember the patterns of the last vase. So honestly, I, I'm not sure. Sure, some of you are yelling me right now. Of course it is, or of course it isn't. But no, I don't know. Not sure. I'm not gonna look too much into it. We'll know the answer soon enough if it is. I'm not really sure what's going on here. This is like a Jujutsu, Jujutsu Kaisen fucking demon. Unless that vase is symbolic and it shows the workings of that upper moon that comes out of the vase. Ah, maybe. Yes, maybe something like that. Maybe something like that. So. Maybe that upper demon is like uh, Plankton with the buckets in the Spongebob movie. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Seaweed head. <laughs> Seaweed. <laughs> <笑>僕はもう行くから後は勝手にして。待って。金森さんも襲われてるんです。助けに出た俺も化け物に襲われて。鋼塚さんが刀の再生で踏みを吹きのけんまをしてるから少しでも手を止めてしまうともうダメな
did they find this place? Weirdly sounds like the ending song in the Minions movie. You can't always get what you want. Uh, that's interesting because that that explains why I said it's like almost like being fathered by Tandro is weird for this character who doesn't seem to know a lot of these um, normal things like normal qualities or characteristics, traits, things like that, um, or even emotions. This makes a little bit of sense. That is interesting. If you were to lose your memory, I wonder how many of your emotions would be affected heavily by that as well. Because how emotional we are is based on how we were raised, right? In a, in a way, a little bit. You know? That is curious. Never thought of that before. きっかけを見落とさないことだ。些細なことがらが始まりとなり。君の頭の中の霞を鮮やかに晴らしてくれるよ。this seems like a red flag. Scarily. I don't I don't like this bit of a red flag. もうちょっとゆっくりで。あともうちょっとだけ。喋ってるとしたおかむから。これは正しいのかな。こんなことしてたら佐藤全体を守れないんじゃ。いや、できる。僕は親方様に認められた鬼殺隊。I'm liking Tokito, I'm gonna be honest. But I do think that was a flag a second ago, which is a bit worrying. Especially now I'm liking him. The same name? なるほど。そうか。攻撃の威力が落ちてる。おそらく強くなっていく分裂は無限じゃない。しらりと見えた口の中の文字。喜怒哀楽。その Wait, were they still on his sword? I didn't even realize that. For some reason, I thought he might have, like, flicked them away. Um, okay, so if they get any... This is a theory, obviously. It's not confirmed. Because they have been getting stronger as they've been detaching. But he's not saying if they get if that continues that they might get weaker. Does that mean that there'll be other ones? Or is he talking about, like, separating... I can't tell whether or not he's like saying like this mouse, for example, is going to become two like mice and then four all but all from the same one or if it's going to like split off again and the mouse becomes a phone. You know what I mean? Like joy becomes harmony, blah, 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 two different ones. So what I'm trying to say is, is the same thing going to continue happening that's been happening or is something different going to happen now? Like splitting them off, but they stay the same. I don't know if that made sense, but it makes sense in my head. <laughs> Oh, I can't go this far. This is not good. Is 
That was pretty badass from Tanjiro there. The boss is down! The boss is down! You have to get extra hits in when they're down like that. It's like the Ender Dragon. Come on. <laughs> It's very hard not to compare the Hasheras to other Hasheras and the Upper Moons to the other Upper Moons. Like, I'm comparing this one to the others we've seen so far and, like, the ranking and the strength of them at the moment. And it's very hard not to do that. I'm probably going to be guilty quite heavily of that um, throughout this anime, so I do apologize. Because right now I'm watching this thinking, this one definitely doesn't seem as strong as the one, uh, as number six, um, which is interesting. But this is only one quarter of it, but still doesn't seem, doesn't seem that strong. <laughs> It just seems awkward. More awkward than strong. I wonder how Nezuko's getting on. I guess we're going to find out the answer, actually. Hold on, here we go. He didn't really do a good job. I'm going to be honest, bro. I hate to say it. Maybe... <laughs> ガンバレ娘もう少しじゃ。ほら、どうした。さっさと手足を向いてしまえ。私は<笑><笑> I don't get the plan here. That gun is awesome, by the way. Is he dead? Is he dead? I don't really understand him just yet. Also, it's weird that Nezuko gets these like plants around her. I'm guessing they're like meaningful, but I obviously don't know what they mean just yet. Um, is he dead? Nezuko is actually like Hellboy, isn't she? <laughs> actually, now I think about it. There's no way he's dead. They need to like showcase him a little bit more. We've barely seen any of that guy. Alright, Tanjiro fighting Chicken Boy. Let's see how he gets on. Oh no, never mind. It's always funny when I say like a character hasn't done much and then I'll just read the comments. People are like, how dare you? <laughs> like when we're watching a ten-game. He seems to be moving. Amidakyoka? <laughs> なんと、ま、新人深いことじゃ。まだ生きているだろうが、頭を勝ち折れ、あいつ。分かっているからいちいちどうなるな。悲しくなる。死ぬまで何度でも首を切ってやるぜ、息子らども。<笑> What happened there? Nanda Koitsu, Nose Shinai. I just got Chime Shoa Taita Iruni. He kind of gives me uh, Inosuke vibes. Just saying. Chuck a freaking boar head on him, boom. It, could, it just could be like a, a distant cousin of Inosuke. Yeah. Oh. 
Jesus. They're all kind of interesting, all of the versions. Whoa, go on, Nezuko. That's right. Don't lose your head about it, bro. Nezuko really makes your jaw drop. Oh This, like discount uh, Nezuko in these fights. I don't know why I do it, but I always bloody do it. And also, every time I freaking, um, every time I think of Inosuke, it just makes me want to read my book more. I need to write read book. I do this so much in the Demon Slayer reactions, and it's ridiculous. Um, honestly, 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 I always discount her, and I don't know why I do it. But then I always get these little reminders. Oh shit, Nezuko actually a badass, <laughs> actually amazing, and honestly. Like, I'm just saying, she's like kept a lot of them alive at certain points. Nezuko is just a freaking monster when she wants to be. She can be the cute, adorable little mm -hmm, Nezuko that just melts our hearts. And then she can melt your heart literally. ふたりのいる建物はすぐそこなのに。どうするんだ、考えろ。うーん、そうだ。うーん。今ここで倒せないなら嫌でも。よフライ。もしかしたら余計に事態が悪化するかも。わからない、わからない。迷うな。もうと
Thandro got himself a new mount, apparently. <laughs> um, a highly effective but very violent one. Fucking hell, those claws in the back were a bit gruesome. Jesus, bro. Tandro seems a lot more like angry on this fight. Let's go! Yeah, yeah! Well, I can imagine that sight is gonna put Tandro in a sort of kind of mood. あの下を Oh shit, I thought that was going through. Tomata. Oh. Stop, oh, get <laughs> That's right, bro, we can still fire! <laughs> oh shit! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go having our own barbecue! Oh, it's this guy! <laughs> this guy who just uh just get just landing. Seems like a lot of people are landing here. We had uh, Tandro just landed in from his flight, and now we got this guy landing back from his his Nezuko flight. Um, also, I'm noticing that some demons do have horns. Uh, this guy has horns. I wonder if there's anything specifically to do with like the the strength of the demon. If the horns mean anything. If there's any symbolism behind the horns. I don't know. Maybe. Who knows? But either way. Oh, one thing's for certain. When Tandro and Nezuko fight side by side, shit gets real. Or is that the wind forcing them down? Jesus. Oh shit, it's more of these things. What is going on? This must be the other moon, right? The other upper moon. Run, guys! Kinda sounds like Tandro over that guy. Weirdly. I love the way her crow has a little like like ribbon on. Oh my god! <laughs> 
<laughs> well, I'm a little bit excited for the next episode now. Oh my god, we get to see the love hasher in action. It's, it's interesting because so far we've seen uh, Rengoku in action and he just crushed crushed it, right? And we've seen Tengen in action. And once again, Tengen just crushed it. And now we've introduced two more Hashira. I, so I didn't think we were going to be seeing her again. I didn't know she was still close to the village. I thought she'd like noped out of there. So I didn't know she was going to be part of this fight. So that's pretty amazing. Um, because she said she had another mission. She basically said she would goodbye to Tandra. So I didn't think we'd see her again. Um, the Mist Hashira hasn't done anything just yet. You know? And I do notice this seems to be the case a lot when it comes to these Hashira fights. Where our main guys are like lower ranks, you know? Our Tanjiro, Zane, uh, Susan, and Inosuke's. They sort of take the brunt. You know? They're the ones in these fights for the longer periods of times. And then the Hashira sort of just make appearances at the end, right? Meanwhile, the Hashiras are being preoccupied with other situations going on, you know? That's sort of what seems to be the case here. Um... I mean, if you look at Rengoku, he was knocked out cold for a while. Uh, meanwhile, Tanjiro and Nosuke sort of woke up and dealt with it for a while. Then once he woke up, he was much more involved, but he just held down one carriage and then we had the final fight, you know? But the others take sort of the brunt of it. And it was the same with Tengen. Tengen showed up at the end, showed up at the beginning and had these moments which like shaped the entire fight. But the main bulk of the fight wasn't done by Tengen. Um, at least in my opinion, you guys can argue with me on that one. That's absolutely fine. Um, and I feel like maybe we're getting the same thing here again. It'd be interesting to see. It's, it's interesting. It's interesting to see that. Because obviously that does help improve our, um, our main guys as well. Because we want to see them improve. Um, but I am super freaking excited to see the Love Hashira in action. Because I don't really understand what combat is going to look like from a character like that, you know? What does is, what is the fighting style look like? That I am excited to see. <clears throat> Wait, how old? Wait, huh? I'm okay, Missouri. So mean. That's a weird camera angle. Also, um, did she say she wanted to meet someone stronger than her? That's gonna be pretty difficult since she's one of the. Hats. Yeah, that's an interesting camera angle. Her hair is awesome. She has like the coolest hair. I'm gonna fry out there. I don't think she'd have a difficult time getting a boyfriend. Um, she's pretty freaking awesome. She is an absolute sweetheart. She is kind. Uh, she has a lovely heart. She is um very beautiful. So, I'm pretty sure that's why they're at the end, they literally highlight that by saying she doesn't actually have any issue with the guys, but she just doesn't know this. Um, which is kind of funny. I cannot wait to see what the hell she fights like. What does she, what does that look like? She's the Hashira of love. What does that fighting look like? Is it literally just going to be some sword action or is there something different to it? You know, what are her techniques like? You know, for me, I would imagine... That it's very like uh, manipulative, and I don't mean that in a, in a bad way. I mean that in like um, like more of like a persuasive kind of um, hypnotic thing, right? Um, that's what I would imagine. That's what you presume when you think like love, like love fighting. You know, fighting with love is convincing someone to fight for you or fight or or, or not fight at all. And that's what I imagine. It's gonna be interesting to see if it isn't, because if it isn't, that's when I'm most curious. If it is just sword fighting, then how does it work, and how strong is he is is um is she compared to like the other Hashira? That is something I'm like super freaking excited to see and and want to see and and, um, and and I cannot wait to see. I am, and I'm also looking forward to seeing more of the Mist Hashira as well, because I feel like we have barely got to see any of him as well. He got blasted away, had a small fight, and that's pretty much been it. And is Tandro's sword going to be, like, important to this battle as well? Because you would think so, right? You know, guard me while I finish this sword. Tandro gets it. It just unlocks everything in him. He's like, rah! Just hulks out with his new sword. Could be. Could be. Could be. Could be. I, I would be fine with that. That'd be kind of cool. Um, I don't think that's going to be the case, but it could be the case. 
Um, meanwhile, you've got Tandro and Nezuko who have just been smashed through the damn freaking floor. Um, you've got our other boy, we'll just call him Angry Dude, who is angry. And uh, <laughs> that's where everybody is. Oh, I feel like we're going to have some really awesome episodes with like some badass fighting coming up soon. Um, and I'm super excited about that because now it's all kicked off. You know it's going to be 100 miles now to the end of this season. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Please press that like button. Please press that subscribe button. Sorry if I was a little bit more sleepy, a little bit quiet this reaction. Uh, hopefully you know why and you can forgive me. Arm Blood reactions are on Patreon for $1 and links to everything is in that description. Hope you guys enjoyed the reaction. Have an amazing freaking day. And as always, my friends, you might never see me in the next video.